Good morning, Annie Sullivan All-Stars. This week, we're going to take some time to learn about some of the amazing people in our office. Here we go. Hi, I'm Mrs. Ellington, the instructional coach. I get to work with all the students and all the teachers in the building to help reach their goals they have for you. Uh, some fun things about me is I like to go camping. I like to be outside with my kids and I don't really know that there's much more. I have three children, they're all boys. I have a freshman in high school, a sixth grader in middle school, and a first grader in elementary. Hello, Annie Sullivan All-Stars. I'm Mrs. Dewan, I'm the principal. And uh, some things about me are, I have a daughter named Abigail who is in college at Mankato State University. She's going to be a teacher. And then I have another daughter. Her name is Caitlin, and she's a sophomore at Roosevelt. And um, my husband's name is Frank. And some things I like to do are reading, walking, riding bike. I like hiking. And my husband really likes fishing, so sometimes I go fishing with him. And then, um, yeah, so that's a little bit about me. And I have been at Annie Sullivan for seven years. So three years I was here as assistant principal. And now the last four years I have been the principal. So it's very awesome. I love being here. I love the staff. I love the students. You're absolutely amazing. Hello, all stars. My name is Mrs. Karst. I'm the assistant principal at Annie Sullivan. I do a lot of different things here. You will see me in the lunchroom a lot, in your classrooms, probably on the playground, in the hallway. I get to come into the classrooms and watch you learn and watch the teachers teach. And sometimes you'll come to the office if you've done really great things or if you need help with things. And some things I like to do in my spare time. Hmm, I like to spend time with my family. In the summer, I like to camp. In the winter, I like to be inside, but I like to play in the snow too with my family. I have three kids. Bo is a senior. Olivia is a fresh sophomore. <laughs> and Jet is a seventh grader. And my husband, Tate, is an electrician. And that's about me. All right, Annie Sullivan All-Stars, we're continuing our knowledge and understanding about bullying. Just a reminder, what is bullying? Bullying is when someone is mean to another purpose on purpose over and over again. It can be verbal saying mean things to make someone feel sad or left out. It can be physically hurting someone, hitting, pushing, or kicking. I am reading this really great book right now called Verbal Judo. And in that book, it talks a lot about how <clears throat> your words will either escalate someone else's behavior or it will um, keep that person calm. So when you're thinking about things you say to other people, last week we had some incidents where people were saying very hurtful things to each other. And when you do that, the other person gets very angry and when someone becomes angry, sometimes they will want to hurt you. So if you just say nice words and nice things to people, they won't get angry at you. Okay, so here, the difference between rude, mean, and being a bully. So being rude is unintentionally saying or doing something once that hurts someone else. So that means you... It's rude, but you didn't really know how it hurt. It would hurt someone's feelings. And then being mean is purposely saying or doing something once to hurt someone, but it's not repeated. And then being a bully is when someone repeatedly says or does things intentionally despite being told to stop or the other person showing they are upset and telling you to stop. It's so very important if someone tells you to stop doing something, you stop. And if you're a person who feels like someone's bothering you, you have to use an I message 
to help them understand what you don't like. I've heard so many students say, stop, stop that. But they, that's not good enough. You have to say what you want that person to stop because they don't understand what you're saying stop to. So if you're on the playground and someone's chasing you, you don't like them chasing you and you say stop, and then they keep chasing you, you have to say stop. I don't like it when you chase me. See how I use the word I and I tell what I don't like? That's what you have to do. Or if someone's bugging you in the classroom, they keep going like touching your arm and you say stop. Well, they don't understand what you're saying stop to because their body's doing lots of different things. So you have to say, stop. I don't like it when you poke me. So use an eye message if you're feeling like someone's bothering you. What should you do? Okay, what should you do if you think you're being bullied? You absolutely have to tell an adult at school because how are we going to help you if you don't tell us what's going on? Then you absolutely have to tell an adult at home that you trust. And then together, we will work on a plan to make it stop. So an imbalance of power. Bullying involves an imbalance of power. So kids who bully use their power, such as physical strength, um, having embarrassing information about someone, or sometimes even popularity. And what they do is try to control or hurt others. This power imbalance can change over time and in different situations, and it might even involve different people. Okay, so that's all we're going to talk about for bullying this month, but now on to our habit two. Begin with the end in mind. Make a plan. So today I just wanted to talk about a story where making a plan was very impactful. This story is about when you go to the store, and many of you have been to Walmart or to Target or different stores, and one of the most important things about when you go shopping is to make a plan and have a list. Because when you have a list, you're more likely to buy only things on your list and not a lot of extra things. So there was a time when <clears throat> our family was very tight with our money so we had a very tight budget because we had a lot of bills and so what we did was we made a plan by creating our list and so we would make sure to stay on our budget and make sure we didn't get extra things because it's so easy to do that at the store so that's an example of how to make a plan and how important it is to meet your goals because we all have goals. We have goals for our education. We have goals for our spiritual life. We have goals for our physical body and we have goals for our finances. So that's just one thing that we've done as a family to make sure we stay in our budget. Okay. Alrighty, Annie Sullivan All-Stars. I hope you have a wonderful week and I'm looking forward to seeing you later.